morning. I'm Joanna Cooper and we are here at the Southern Pines Equestrian Center and we're here for an IHSA meet between the Middle Georgia Knights and the Central Florida team and we are here with the judge Mr. Glenn Wells. Hi, thank you for talking to us today. Hey, thank you for having me here. Um, can you just tell us a little bit about this event and you as a judge kind of what you look for in these events? Well, this event is based off of the riders' horsemanship abilities and their talents in the saddle. Um, we're looking for the most correct rider. They're riding horses that are completely strange to them, which is my hat's off to them for that. Um, so they get on and they go in the pen on an absolutely strange horse and have to figure it out. Um, sometimes that works, sometimes it doesn't. But most of the time they figure it out and then they can get their posture on the horse and, and that's what we're looking for is the correctness and who can handle the horse the most. So really it's their individual skill put to the test right away. A absolutely. Um, can you talk to us about the two events that we will be seeing today? Give us just a little brief explanation about those. Well, today most of these classes are on the rail horsemanship classes. So as they come in, they're judged each way at a walk, trot, and a canter. And while they're being, while they're going each direction, I'm looking for the correct posture of each uh, rider. Um, and the horse's behavior has something to do with it because if they can manipulate that horse into doing what they want to do. Um, the other event will be the reining. Mm -hmm. um, that's kind of the crowd pleaser. Um, there's a set pattern that these girls have to remember. There's about 11 or 12 maneuvers to it. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot to remember. Again, they're riding strange horses that probably may not be the best at this job, mm -hmm. but they can get through it. And so it's based on each girl's, again, their ability and their talent to manipulate them through uh, a pretty tough pattern. Exactly. Um, I know that there's something called lead in these events, and I know that when I first came around horse events, I had no idea what it meant to be on the correct lead. So can you just kind of talk us through a little bit about what that means? So when a horse is presented to you on the rail or in the center, there is a correct lead. So if they're going around the pin counterclockwise, that would be, they would have to be on their left lead. If they're going clockwise, they'll be on their right lead, which means that their front right leg will be leading the way as they canter. Yeah, exactly. Well, we are excited to be here. We're excited to cover this event today, and I'm really glad that you took a moment to just talk to us. Well, again, thank y'all for having me here. Yeah. I'm looking forward to it. Excellent. Thank you very much. Thank you. We are here at the Southern Pines Equestrian Center, and we are here for the meet between the Middle Georgia Knights versus Central Florida. Um, it's going to be a great meet. I'm excited about it, as this is Middle Georgia's first home meet here in this arena. And today we have Hunter Holland, who is the team captain, and he's going to speak to us and tell us a little bit about this event and who he is and how he got involved and what your role is on the team. Yes, ma'am. Well, first off, thank you so much for having the time for this. Um, but this is our first year hosting, and it's only our second year actually having a team. We, um, we were started last year, and as our first ever year having a team, we finished fourth in our region out of 13 teams, and that's out of clean teams like Clemson, Florida, Florida State, UCF, USF, wow. all those big names. Uh, and you've got Middle Georgia, and we... Um, like I said, we took fourth in our region in just our first year. That's and amazing. I, yes, ma'am. And we joined, or I joined um, this past spring as an associate member. So I wasn't riding. I was just going with the team, helping out anything that was needed. And then all during the summer, you know, I was getting riding hours. I was coming, I was helping out at the barn, whatever was needed. Um, and even now, like I'm riding five days out of the week trying to get better because, in my opinion, I'm playing catch up with some of the other members on the sure. team. Because we've got some riders that have been riding all their lives and I'm trying to be the best that I can and at the same time I'm trying to help the team what with points and hoping we can do our best in our region that kind of thing and we've got 11 teams right here or that we're hosting such you know such as teams like Clemson Florida Florida State all those big names and um, pretty much as the captain I try and make sure that everything is organized everyone has what they need no matter what it is um, we've made trips all over trying to get belt buckles chaps hats just everything needed um, and it's kind of just 
for me, it's stepping into that leadership role and just trying to pretty much help the team in any way that I can, whether it's, you know, being there for someone else during one of their rides so that, you know, they have pointers, they know what they're looking for. And I'm, I'll be the first to say, I'm by no means a professional, but, you know, I'll pass on whatever information was passed to me, anything that can help someone, I'm always trying to help, whether it's, you know, work at the barn, fixing fences or anything like that, uh, to helping some of the riders just work on their form, their posture, that kind of thing. So I kind of help out wherever I'm needed. So. I don't want to say that I have like a set thing. It's kind of, I'm always there. I'm always trying to be involved. To fill in and, the gap, yes, sounds like. Um, talk to me a little bit about IHSA and how IHSA allows somebody who's a beginner rider to compete. It's a little different. Oh, yes, ma'am. We, um, the IHSA, how it is, um, it's structured with beginner, intermediate one, intermediate two, um, novice, advanced, and open. And, you know, open's the highest you can do. Uh, they also have like alumni classes and stuff like that, and then um, and you have to be in the open class to participate in the raining events, um, which raining is so much fun. It's I do it at the barn and try to whenever I can, but I can't actually compete in raining in this because um, I grew up having horses, but I hadn't had any lessons or I hadn't shown before. Sure. So you know the IHSA said because I didn't have that training or I didn't have that. Um, that show experience, um, they placed me in beginner. Mm -hmm. And so now I'm trying to work my way up, get as many points as I can for the team, just anything to help out, um, help us win our region. And how the IHSA is structured is, you don't know what horse you're going to ride. You go in and we'll have a draw uh, at the beginning of the day and we'll pick like, say for instance, rider 465, uh, mm -hmm. and that would be me. Um, rider 465, you ball, you'll get a ball out of a hat, and you match it to whatever number horse is on the board. Right. And that's who you're riding. Like today, I drew a horse named Bailey. I have no idea who it is, but I'm excited to see how he's going to be. And you but, just have to rely on your skill that you have acquired to make that horse do what you need it to do, right? Oh, yes, ma'am. And when you get in there, you you don't get a warm-up. You don't get anything like that. They'll warm the horses up at the very beginning of the day. Mm -hmm. And then you can... Um, you're allowed to get on right before your class. You can fix your stirrups and you can kind of adjust your reins, but you can't pick them up. You can't lead them, anything like that. Right. And then your coach actually leads you into the arena and that, um, and then you actually start. But until then, nothing else. Wow, that's amazing and kind of daunting, right? Oh yes, ma'am. Like, you get into it at first and you're like, all right, I don't know how this is gonna be. You know, I can't do anything. I don't have a warm up. And you just go in there and you have to do the absolute best that you can with your abilities that you have. But it's fair for everyone because you know that your competitor has to do the exact same thing, right? Yes. And we've got some riders that have never ridden a horse before, um, before they had joined the team. And how it's structured with us is, you know, you have the associate members, the ones that are helping out. They're not really riding. Mm -hmm. Then you have the in-training team, which would be, they're not quite showing yet, but, you know, they're actually riding. They're getting that practice in. And then you have the show team. And we had two riders now that actually um, moved up from the training team to the show team. So this is their first ever show. Great, that's great. So this is our first time ever hosting a show because this is only our second year having an equestrian team. And I think I'm, I say that I'm very thankful for my team for electing me as captain. And I just try and do the best that I can for them. Great, and you're gonna be competing this afternoon, right? Yes ma'am, this and afternoon. your event is? I am in beginner class A. And, but are you doing horsemanship or reining? I'm doing horsemanship. Great. Because, uh, like I said earlier, the reining, you have to be in open to do that. And mm -hmm. we have one rider that's in open and would be showing reining, and that'd probably be, probably in a couple minutes. Awesome. But reining is something I do, we'll be at the barn, and I'll practice with um, my coach's mom, who is, I say she's, Miss Molly Marshall. Miss Molly Marshall. She helps me out, and I'm very appreciative for her. And it's it's just incredible. I love the feeling of it. It's so much fun. Horsemanship is great. Raining for my heart is. Exactly. I understand. Well, thank you so much for speaking to us today. You gave us a lot of great information. Well, thank you for having me. Hi, I'm Chuck Harwell from Community Bank, and I would like to remind you that we're here to help you with all your financial needs. We can help you with loans for almost everything from getting married, 
buying your first car, getting ready for a new baby, buying a house, or going to college. You see, we're the bank that lives up to our name, Community Bank of Dublin Lawrence County. We're Community Bank of Dublin Lawrence County, where common sense banking never goes out of style. Hi, I'm Anna Grace with Myers Equipment and Supply, your dealer for the complete line of Can-Am side-by-sides and ATV products. For hunting, farming, or riding the trails, Can-Am has the models you need. See the full line of exciting Can-Am products featuring the Can-Am Outlander line of ATVs. Outlanders outfit you with the best mix of performance, handling, and comfort all at a price you can afford. Can-Am Outlanders. Riding the trails, working the farm, or playing in the mud, nothing beats a Can-Am. Come into Myers Equipment today and see the full line of Can-Am ATVs and side-by-sides. Can-Am, the ride says it all. Hey, thanks for coming back. And we are here with Carly Henderson and she is the co-captain of the MGA Knights team. Yes. And um, we just want to talk to her a little bit today about the horses and what kind of special horse or training or breeding that it takes to be a horse in an event like this. Yeah. Well, most of the horses here are going to be from Quarter Horse Foundation lines, um, AQHA horses. Um, we have several here that have backgrounds in reining. Uh, we have one here that has either one or a couple world titles up under him in a reigning competition. And we also have some that were brought in that have Western Pleasure background. So they'd have to be able to compete on the rail at a walk jog and lope and then also help in the reining patterns. And so it's my understanding that all of these horses here are donated by local people in the area, which yeah. kind of leads to the fact that you know the team members have never really ridden them yeah. before. We have um, a couple that were donated by personal people or some that we knew from the team. Um, we actually had some of the colleges bring some of theirs, like University of Florida brought about eight horses for us to use and Clemson brought about four for us to use. And then uh, thanks to Miss Melissa, she brought about five or six horses here for us to use as well. So, Wonderful. Yeah. Well, that's great. Thank you, Carly. Can <laughs> Thank you tell you. us a little bit about, you're not riding this year. No, ma'am. But I'm sure that you still have a lot of responsibilities with the team. What do you do a yes, little bit? Uh, well, like you said, I'm the co-captain, so I help Hunter a lot with stuff that he can't get to. So if there's something in the background that he can't quite get done, he'll message me and see if I can get it done. And nine out of ten, I can get it done between the two of us. Um, I help with a lot of the horses at the barn as, mu as much as I can because I am in Dublin there in Cochrane. So. But I'm sure there are a lot of little <laughs> small details. There's I mean, even of... setting this facility up today, you have beautiful banners yeah. displayed. Um, it, it's I, really nice. Yeah, there's a lot that has gone on behind the scenes that I don't know if sometimes it's always noticed. So it's hard to say what all you do when yeah. you don't think about it and you just do it. Well, I'm sure that people who just, you know, came here today for the first time just really don't understand exactly what it yeah. took to get this going today. Yeah, it took a lot of blood, sweat, tears. Not a lot of blood, but a lot get to get this going today. Well, wonderful. Thank you so much Thank for talking you. to us, Carly. I am here with the amazing and gorgeous Allie Jones, and she is the coach of the Middle Georgia Knights team. Um, Allie, can you just tell me a little bit about your background, first of all? Yeah, um, I was an uh, IHSA coach for Berry College after I showed for them for my undergrad and then during my masters I was a graduate assistant coach for them and then I moved down to Middle Georgia and started the Middle Georgia team at Middle Georgia State University so we're really excited it's our second year and uh, we're really happy with how this event's going so. Well tell us a little bit about how that came about that you you know spoke to the the college and and got them to you know have yeah. a team for you so I um, I called the athletic director and asked if he could meet with me and he said that was fine and I walked into his office and I said um, will you let me start an equestrian team at Middle Georgia and he was like I don't see why not and uh, two years later here we are we're we're pretty successful in our second year and um, I'm just happy they gave us the opportunity to be able to provide Middle Georgia with an equestrian team so can you tell me, I know this is an IHSA team, what does that stand for? Intercollegiate Horse Show Association. Great. So um, basically there are over 400 teams in the U.S. And so um, we, you show in your region and then you have semifinals and nationals. And so we hope to one day be able to be at a national level. So. 
That's great. I hope so too. Yeah. Um, you also have a barn and do lessons with you know younger students yes. and, and other things as well as this team. Yes. Yeah, so um, we have a Middle Georgia Equestrian Center. So mm -hmm. we host the Middle Georgia Equestrian team. And we provide boarding and lessons for um, other students too, and for our co collegiate students as well. And um, I'm also a professor at Middle Georgia State in the education department as well. So lots going on. <laughs> so if somebody wanted to contact you and they were interested in a younger child, yeah. how could they get a hold of you? Um, they can always email or call me. So, and do you want me to give my phone number or no? It's up to you. How, how do you feel about it? Um, if you look on our on our Facebook page you can find all of our contact information and Facebook's a great way to get hold of me too so that's great that'll all be right. fine thank you so much thank for speaking so to us much. today and good luck to your team thank you hi we are back and we have Emma Rollins and she is a team member for the night so hi Emma welcome and tell us a little bit about who you are and what you do on the team well I've grown up doing horses my whole life um, I started with the jumpers and dressage and I've been doing this for about um, four months, so it's a different change doing Western. But I joined the team just because I wanted horses in college, and they offered it. So, well, what what event are you going to compete in today? I'm intermediate too, so I'm in the I'm up towards the advanced classes. So, are I'm you there. do you do reining or horsemanship? I do horsemanship. And tell us a little bit about that event. Just kind of explain it to someone if they had no idea what that event is. Well, they pick, they draw a random horse out of a hat, and they want you to ride that horse to the best of your ability. So we have to go in, in the ring without knowing the horse and look our best and be professional about it. That's great. Well, thank you so much, and I wish you the best of luck today. <laughs> thank you. Now we are speaking to... Steve Marshall, and yes, he is the official farrier for the Middle Georgia Equestrian Team. So thank you for speaking to me today. You're welcome. Um, I just want to talk about like what your role is and if there's anything special that you need to do for these horses versus just your average pasture horse. With these horses in particular, most of them are reining horses. Um, so they have a special kind of shoe on the back, which enables them to slide. Um, it's a slick shoe, kind of like a ball tires on a car, so it helps them slide in the back um, so they can do the sliding stops, which are pretty spectacular in the show ring. Um, other than that, it's really just a question of keeping them sound and keeping them comfortable, kind of like wearing a very comfortable set of shoes. Yeah, if your feet are uncomfortable, you're not going to run very well, and it's the same for the horses. We just try and keep them as comfortable as possible. Well, I understand you have a little bit of a special connection to Coach Allie as well. I'm afraid so, yes. Yeah, she's my daughter. <laughs> um, well, thank you for talking to us today. You're We're really happy to be here and cover this event. Thank you very much for coming.